at this point, all of these baddies are lame. I'm Lady Girl from Run Away, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a Baddies East season yada 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 review. Now, let's just hop into it. But before I do, y'all, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to hit that 10K by the end of the day. I do appreciate the ones who have been subscribing, the ones who are new here. Hello, hi, how are you? I hope you're well this Monday night. Um, Let's hop into it. So boom, the girls is at it. Mariah, get your chain, Mariah. Mariah, get your chain, Mariah. Like, girl, ugh, ugh. Loser in my fucking T voice. So Mariah in the back, she's swinging. She's hitting, smiley, smiley. Only she ain't even blocking or nothing. She just kind of like, oh, oh, look at me. Oh, girl, go to hell. So she in the kitchen after after Mariah got her little one-two little pat pat in. Her little rap attack pat to the uh, living room where they was all at just having drinks where it was just baddie baddie shot o'clock and I was like get up get up get up off that chain get up off that chain and like girl I just feel like uh, I don't know I don't, I, I don't know uh six so, what's, what's the name what's the name I want to call her Sequoia it's not Sequoia 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 oh back it up back it up if it back it up back it up oh, oh. Bitch, that's the name of the song. I made that one up for you, boo. No, so she's in the kitchen. Mariah getting her little, her little, this is the fist, y'all. This is how she hit her from the back. This is Mariah's hitting her fist right here. So she's going over, whatever, whatever. They all like surround her. Come on, give her the chain. Come on, give her the chain. Come on, give her the chain. It's like, damn, this is this an episode of Scared Straight? Like, what the fuck is it giving? And smiling, you saw. She's all scared and nervous, okay? You know what I mean? She's scared and nervous. She's scared straight, child. She went, she went up out of there. She's like, Mom, come get me, all right? So, um, Tiseki kind of just like rolling her eyes when Suki, uh, girlfriend, is talking. I feel like Tiseki shows so much personality and emotion and, um, like, when the shit is happening. But in the confessional, she just be like, yeah, well, I don't know. So, uh, you know, she just took her, she just took her, this is her nails, yeah, I don't know. So, like, you know, at the end of the day, I just, you know, she just took her shit and I just felt like it was weird. So, like, she gives me no energy at all. Taseki, wake up, mama. Girl, go take an improv class or something. Something. Damn. Damn. I ain't I, I, I hear a cracker joke or nothing. So, um, she just over there looking me mugging Suki Hana's girlfriend. So uh, she was wearing a chain or whatever. So the girl, Sukiana girlfriend, takes the chain from her. And, um, you know, she was wearing a chain. So I'm like, get the chain, get the chain. So um, Mariah ended up taking the chain from her. So Camila and Smiley is over in the corner because she's somewhere in the corner all, you know, fucking docile and shit. She's like, this is weird, man. I don't know. I just hate this. I just hate this. But girl, you just was online. In your best black scent, talk about yeah, I got your, I got your weed, I got your chain, girl. Come get your chain, go get your weed. Now when some girls really press you, now you say, oh, 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 get your motherfucking ass up. First of all, you feel what I'm saying? She like, Camille like, oh, so what you want to do? Because she like, I'm not doing, I'm not, you know, you want to fade? She like, no, I'm, I'm on five ibuprofen. I'm on five ibuprofen, girl. You not on no five ibuprofen. If you take a five ibuprofen, sis, go get you a perk. Who the fuck is on five ibuprofen? <laughs> Yo, I'm bugging. Be careful with me, okay? And everybody's in a confessional, including to take it like, I don't feel bad for her. That's just like when the robbers get robbed. Like that's that that comes a part of the game. Like it is what it is. Like. You want to be out here playing these big willy games and then when something big really happened to you, you can't play, oh, I'm so sad. I can't believe this happened to me, girl. It is what it is. If you're a stick-up boy, eventually the stick-up boys get robbed. Same is no difference. So the coochie girls is over there playing Ring Around the Rose. They're like, yeah, this is how we do. We bully the bullies. And, um, you know, that was kind of like the end of it. So Suki is on a sprint and they're on their way to the club now. That was the scene. Suki was... <laughs> Which I really feel I'm going to do my review and then I'm going to give my opinions because I feel like there are some things at play here at Baddies East that we really need to kind of dissect and get into. So 
Suki's on a sprinter and she's like, I don't like that bullying stuff. I've been in DV situations, which somebody, everybody knows that Suki Hana was in a domestic violence shelter before. Like she really don't like this type of stuff and it could be a trigger for her. Her girlfriend was just like, you know, we're not doing that. So they were three different sprinters, you know, group A, group B, and Suki Hana sprinter. And they was like, oh, we going to club Noto. The girls show up and the club ended up getting shut down. Like they ended up being there too late and nobody really kind of got on and had a lit time. They tried to do a little no music, to, 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 no music to, 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 type of situation. And um, it was cute for what, it's, for what it was worth. Um, so now I'm paying attention to outfits because y'all was trying to play E.T. Uh, uh, Doris outfit. I did not see that Doris outfit. I promise you I didn't. But I was paying attention to her little 90s um, little little thing she had. She reminded me of the girl that's, that's in the video of let's go somewhere and get it on tonight. Mm, she shouldn't have to be alone tonight. Period. It's a one on one tonight. Y'all remember she had the little, the little 90s drip? Like it'd be like a little swoop, a little cow neck going on. Uh, Mariah had on these sparkly underwear, child. I, I, I don't know what the hell they had going on. But those are the only two outfits that really kind of stuck out to me. Then, um, Camilla is asking, like, you know, how does Biggie feel about being a replacement? Which I felt like was really shady. Because, like, Biggie's like, I'm not really a replacement. I was supposed to be here. But, you know, some things happen. It is what it is. I mean, Biggie is a little bit of a replacement. But it's okay. I mean, it's okay to be a replacement. You lit. You know, you were you were OG now, I guess. Um, but it was cute. So they're on their way to New York, and Arna got the little uh, game they were playing. They were doing like, um, they were doing like impressions of the girls. Sky was doing impressions of Natalie Nunn. If your name was Natalie Nunn, you bitch, you're so good. Should check me. Uh, Nikki really put uh, her on with that. Um, when they were in the club, I will say that Natalie seems very comfortable in this role of Queen B on the microphone in control of the crowd. Um, the crowd went crazy when they seen her more than Sukiana. I mean, let's just call it a thing, not unless it was editing. But Natalie does really give Queen B vibes. Anyway, the girls are on a private jet and they're all talking like, oh, this is E.T.'s first time on a private jet, girl. Which I felt like they were trying to be shady. But Sukiyana being a real one, like, girl, it's my first time on a private jet. I love that she did that because, like, you know, a lot of those girls wouldn't have access to a PJ if it wasn't for Zeus and their investment private jet. So, um, like, you think some of the girls are mad that they didn't get on the PJ? I really feel like Natalie should have switched it up like she did last season. She was mixing out and rotating the girls who was on PJs and who wasn't. It was very clear, like, y'all are my crew. Y'all coming with me. We're going to have the better house. We're going to have the PJ. We're going to have these things. It's a very, she's giving very much Shawnee O'Neal. She ain't giving Shawnee O'Neal. The only difference is she'll get out in the field where Shawnee will just kind of play and act coy. But like, you know, not really know what's going on. Well, then they arrived to their respective homes. And I feel like Group B's home was really beautiful. They were in New York now. So obviously they have better pickings on Airbnbs and everything like this. And did y'all hear about New York stopping uh, the ability to Airbnb nowadays? I, I heard, I actually read about that. That's going to go into effect sometime next year. That's going to be insane. But um, I thought that that was really interesting how like the homes in New York were much better than even Philly, even, well, you know, Maryland, DC was a bust, but Philly was okay. New York was even better. The girls go through the home. It's like the same, literally the same setup. The girls go in two separate homes. They do the homes. Like y'all, y'all are fucking HGTV. We don't really care about the homes at this point. Y'all get the mansions. We see the mansions. Like, I understand, like, you know what I mean? But they are two separate homes. It's like two separate baddies the whole entire season. Like, y'all can't get a house big enough to house, like, one level of these girls, one level of that girls, and we see, she used my hot comb. Where my hot comb at? And then we have some actual real storyline, real dialogue. These girls are in two different homes, forging two different bonds. But anyway, let me just finish so we can get to that part. So Natalie is talking to her group, and she's like, I wonder what girls can come to our house. And immediately they say Sky, Sky and Camilla. Um, so I find it interesting. It's interesting that when the girls did come up to the house together, that uh, 
you know, everybody was just kind of like, oh, well, this house is so nice. Nobody ever really said, why are we not at this house? Nobody mentioned that to, to Natalie, but everybody has something to say about it. So when they were talking about, you know, when they all came collective together at the new house in New York, Scott was like, yeah, because the girls in my house are da 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 And I'm feeling like naturally, shouldn't that have been Camila because she's the seasoned bad girls, you know, bad girls club baddie or whatever. But then I'm thinking about it too. Like Sky has been on TV for way longer than Camilla. These bad girls club girls only had one or two good seasons and then they were done with. And then at this point, like they had to forge their own lives and careers. So it makes sense that Sky is kind of be, being the head of the, the other house. Whereas we would think that it would be Camilla since she was the original BGC. But I feel like Baddies is so far away from Bad Girls Club. I mean, honestly, I don't want to say it surpassed it because it was real honest, authentic moments. I am curious to know what y'all think about that. Has Baddies surpassed BGC? I mean, they go to the club. It's, it's a whole phenomenon. Baddies, baddies, shot. Like, it's a whole thing. It's baddies bigger than BGC. Drop in the comments, I want to know. Period. So, anyway, they arrive to their homes. Smiley is, uh, you know, ask, giving the pendant back. And so her name is Sapphire. Sapphire, um, she like, I don't, she like, let's go outside, let's meet the other girls. And I feel like Natalie knew exactly what she mean. Like, let's go outside and meet the other girls. Why are y'all already outside? Y'all don't want to mess up none of this furniture in the Airbnb, which is so like obvious. So Smiley, she's sitting on the van, she looking all disgruntled. Oh Lord, oh God, oh, 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 oh. You know what I mean? Now she all flabbergasted. And <clears throat> everybody on the spinner like, Smiley, why are you not being the same Smiley? You acting a little weird. She's like, oh, I don't need nobody to ask me about nothing. I'm just feeling some type of way because they, they jumped me or whatever. Was it a jump? Was it a jump? Maybe. it was a. There was definitely a lot of energies surrounding that. I told you it was like a situation like scared straight. But um, I, don't, I wouldn't say jump. I wouldn't say jump. What y'all think? Was it a jump? This might, this probably did not get jumped. Y'all even need to drop down in the comments. Y'all can only drop down in the comments if y'all think she got jumped. That girl did not get jumped. She get, she was overwhelmed is what it was. Okay? They overwhelmed her. It was not a jump. Anyway, so a Smiley gives the pendant back when she shows up. Like, oh, I'm going to give you your pendant back. Now I want my chain back. And they was like, no, you're not getting your chain back. You went around. You have to take it from her. Like, we have to take it from you. And Smiley, you can't pick and choose when you want to be big, bad wolf. And then when you actually get around some wolves, now you cowering and towering and shaking and quivering. That's not how this thing goes. So she like, oh, well, you done, you done turned in. And then what's so crazy is she took Mariah's pendant and turned it into a chain for her son. Like, you took it too personal, bitch. Like, you did way too much. You thought it was going to go crazy. And Mariah was like, oh, yeah, she said she wanted to have a special dinner with me at, um, you know, to have, like, a storyline and to give me my chain back or whatever. She was really trying to send you. And Mariah, you sitting out here, you was simping out bad. And motherfucking Suki and the girl Sapphire, who apparently don't even know you like that, had to come back and come to your rescue where you, you in here with all these chicks, all these bitches that's been skinning and kiki -ki and grinning and he he and kiki -ki and a ka ka and fa fa and la la and, and fa -la, la 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 and everything the fuck else. And nobody was pressing her, like give her her chain back. And that's what Suki was saying in her lives. None of these girls that you rip, ripping and running in the club with back and forth for the club, taking shots, baddie, baddie, shot o'clock. Said, give her a shame back and only press her in a real way, Natalie included. Natalie the main one. Because Natalie was waiting for a story and because that story didn't pan out the way that she wanted to, now that she got all the girls lined up in a line against Smiley because it didn't pan out the way that she thought it would. She thought Mariah was going to come with some more pressure to actually really cause the storyline. And Mariah, you are so lame. Mariah, you're a loser. You're a loser, Mariah. You let this girl have your chain. You went around with Scotty, Scott, Rowley, this, that, and the third. They all knew you had your chain and didn't do nothing. You take these two coochie girls out of nowhere to come get your chain and then now you want to you forge a fake beef with them. 
don't like it. So anyway, let me let me go back. I already shared my opinion. I just feel like it's weird. It's a really produced storyline. I really wish they would have did it a little bit differently. Mariah, you were so whack. They were hoping that it would it would result into more. It never results into more. So they had to fucking enlist the coochie girls to get it popped off because the whole chain saga was supposed to be the gift that kept on giving, but it did it and it stopped. And now we're gonna be, get fixated on it and make it this whole big thing because for seasons, for cities. They all know that girl had your chain and nobody said nothing to her. But these random girls do come in and then they, they get your chain back and you're like, all right, yeah, so thanks. Like, it was just so weird. So Smiley, like, so Sephora, like, yeah, well, I just felt like you went online talking about something you just got jumped and I feel some type of way about that, so I want to shoot the feed. So, what you call them says, outright, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. So Sephora, like, well, I'm not about to be no bully, but at the end of the day, I feel like you played me and I want to fight. So she tries to go and enlist the help of Natalie. Child, I don't know for the fuck why. Natalie's like, well, at the end of the day, we're going to have to do this every day. Like, we're going to have to run it. Like, what is it going to get? What are you going to do? Basically say, like, girl, we making a TV show, honey buns. Honey bunches of oats. Get your ass out there and get the fighting and tussling and doing all that thugging that you was doing on the internet. Okay? It's time for you to deliver. To make real on them promises. On them promissory notes. Girl... Excuse me. I'm a little term. So, we don't see the fight, but we see it happen. And we all know Smiley's gonna get trashed and thrashed. Then we're gonna see some other fights. We're gonna see E.T. and um, Biggie get into it, which is just like, <sighs> E.T. girl, I lost hope at this point. Truly, truly, I've lost hope because why? Because Biggie and Rolly, Biggie, Biggie and Rolly can handle her own shit. Rolly can handle her own stuff. You know what I mean? And I and I can see Rolly so popping. I can see Rolly. I mean, um, Biggie so popping at the ET. But why is you fighting her? We're gonna see uh Scotty and Natalie get into it. Which is some tea, girl. I it's a lot of you girls out here that's giving real tea about the baddies universe and the baddies work. Jane Ray Flower, she's one of them ones, girl. She gives a, a lot of the backstory about Lemmy having a, a situation with Scotty. Um, you know, a little sexual relationship. She got an apartment and she pays for it. This is why Scotty continues to come back on baddies. So basically, from what I'm understanding, Scotty is the feeling for Christina because we all know that Lemmy allegedly had got Christina pregnant, was having sex with her, doing all these things, how she got the show. So Scotty is now Christina. This is why, you know, they keep Scotty close. So she getting a little too hot because she knows Janisha is the wife. Girl, it's just a whole big orgy mess that's happening over there over on the Zeus Network. I really want to know what y'all think. I'm really disappointed in Mariah. Mariah Lynn talked all this, you know, oh, I'm this and I'm from New York and I'm a step of my sister, girl. You didn't even step. You needed the help of these two big black girls to really get your chain back. And then she didn't even really, like, it's just too much. And then Mariah, I was looking at Mariah's story over the, over the course of the holidays. She out with real white people. Like, what is it giving Mariah? I don't know. Mariah just seemed very lame to me. She does. And you just got the 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 power that be that's on your side to kind of come help you get this chain back. But you didn't re retrieve shit. And then now you try to go back and forth with Suki. When she was the only one that really kind of came to your fucking aid. Which Suki, I mean, I feel like it's helping her storyline too. Don't get me wrong. It's all about optics on the show. But I do appreciate how she stepped in and was like, girl, that's not okay. I'm it's, I'm not going to do it, but my homegirl's going to get your chain back. And we're going to move from there. But I feel like everybody was sitting back to see what Mariah was going to do once they realized Mariah wasn't going to do shit. Lame, loser. They enlisted Sukiana. And um, I keep forgetting this girl's name. What is it? Shakoya Sapphire. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyways, I'm curious to know what y'all think. Drop down in the comments. Let me know. Keep me posted as always. I am sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.